Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. You know where they are. Mm -hmm. He's at Perhaps. this woman's house again. Mm -hmm. He had to tell me the truth. She said she's gonna play with fire, but she's playing with fire. Uh-uh, you gotta tell me! <laughs> From Cheater's surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like he's just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh, Jesus. I asked her about his, and she said nothing was going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get up, Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Go. 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 This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever. to work. Just go. Josh. Go with him. I love you. I'm so sorry. Real Reality Television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. I'm Joey Greco. Welcome to another great episode of Cheaters. In this case, meet Minerva Fernandez, a placid woman having trouble keeping a leash on her longtime boyfriend. Growing wary of the suspect's strained tendencies, Minerva appoints cheaters to uncover the truth. Minerva Fernandez, age 47, a nurse concerned that her longtime boyfriend may be out on the town sowing some wild oats. I met Ivan through a friend um, in a club, and he was general. He was sincere. He was real nice. He was the type of person, you know, lovable. And he was different with me. It was going real good, and it happened like a year and a half. It just went back uh, different. He changed. It was the same person like before. We used to go out dancing, go into restaurant, and now he just, um, no more. He just want to go with his friends. Because he was going out all the time, weekend, then come home until the next day, come home with lipstick, um, female hair, and cologne, smell perfume, and I confront him and he say, you're crazy. I don't think so. Yeah, it's very important to know the truth, what he's doing right now, because that way I feel free from my heart, because I'm depressed, um, think too much, and I just want to know the truth. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Identity withheld, age 40. A truck driver suspected of giving the long haul to other women in a secretive manner. Investigation day eight. Cheaters investigators get the helpful tip from complainant Fernandez that her boyfriend has been frequenting one residence in particular. All is quiet in the neighborhood until later that evening. Cheaters agents close in on the residence on the lookout for the suspect. He is without a doubt at the residence spending some quality time with his female companion. Cheaters agents wait around until out of nowhere, the two appear on the surveillance monitor. The two are followed to a nearby gas station. The suspect goes into the store to stock up on some sugary snacks while his companion is relegated to gas pumping duties. The large fellow and his faithful attendant then drive straight back to her abode. After several more hours pass, it is apparent that he will stay the night. Investigation day 10. Several days later, Cheaters pinpoints the suspect's position. He makes a stop at a local Chinese restaurant and pulls in next to a familiar looking vehicle. He goes straight up to her car and hurries her inside where a wide variety of buffet items call his name. After a feast of a meal, the suspect and his dining partner head into a grocery store. Cheaters crews call off the investigation after the two end up back at her place and are not heard from again. Investigation day 15. 
After remaining in stakeout mode, P.I.s notice that Mr. Wonderful has again decided to stop by to grace the lady with his presence. About an hour passes before the suspect and his second family take to the highway. He treats them to a spending spree at a local shoe store. After making their purchases, investigators aren't surprised to find that food is on their minds as they stop by a seafood restaurant for some shrimp and hush puppies. The suspect continues to give Minerva a bellyful, as confirmed in a recorded phone call. Hello? Yeah. I'm in Ulysses. I thought you were Carlos. I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I just spoke with him. You just got home, I know that. Huh? You just got home. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, honey. Don't lie to me. No, he just got home. Don't you lie. You lied. Don't lie to me. I know when you lie, okay? No, I'm on here. I gotta go. I'm gonna hang out. I ain't gonna answer if don't lie. Cheaters contacts Minerva to reveal where her boyfriend has been hiding out. After the break, the confrontation. With the evidence now corroborating Minerva's worst fears, Cheater sends out a call to inform her of the unpleasant situation. Frustrated yet determined, Minerva comes to regain her diminishing confidence. Minerva, thanks for being out here with us this evening. I know the last couple of months have been very difficult for you. Our investigators have some information that may answer some of the questions that okay. you have. Are you ready to take a look at that? Yeah, I'm ready to look at it. Okay. As the investigation started, mm -hmm. you provided us with a name. Yes, correct. The detective, based on that information, started the investigation at this woman's residence. Oh, that's his car, his BMW. Great. They get into her car, mm -hmm. arrive at a gas station. At this point in time, we really have not established anything. Mm -hmm. They head back to her place, mm -hmm. now he spends the evening there. Yeah. On this day in the investigation, we see mm -hmm. driving to another restaurant, mm -hmm. and he pulls in right next to her car. Mm -hmm. They go inside, have something to eat. They go back to her apartment, and they spend some time at her apartment. Mm -hmm. Now on this day in the investigation, once again pulls up. I got you, honey. We see a young man come out with the two of them, get into his car, hmm. and go to a shoe store. From that point, You'll they go to there. another restaurant. Mm -hmm. As they come out, they appear to be holding, holding hands. Holding hands and, yeah. Again, mm -hmm. they go back to her place, and that's where he spends the evening. Mm -hmm. We know where they are. Mm -hmm. He's at her house. this woman's house again, mm -hmm. what would you like to do? Talk to him, he had to tell me the truth. Okay, let's go. Hey, it's Joey, can you give me an update on your suspect? They're leaving now? Go now, he's getting in his car. Go, 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 go. go. Give me an explanation why you doing over here with her. Listen, you're not a man, huh? Listen. You're not a man. Yeah, the police can come. He's calling the police. Look at her purse there. You got her purse and everything. Hey, you got her purse there too, huh? You've been going out with her, huh? Come on. And, and they got you on camera, buying her shoes, buying her some food, get her some gas. Gasoline and everything. Oh, and the camera. I got right there. You want to see it? You want to see? See? Hey. You, you want to see? see Come here. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Okay, he's, he's, okay. he's. Yeah, that's the man, my man, visiting him here. But I'm going to talk and see. She says she doesn't play with fire, but she's playing with fire a lot. Okay. The truth's out. We know what's been going on. Minerva just wants to get some closure for herself. Can you provide her with that at least? 
here. If you don't open the door, okay, that's fine. I got you this time. Roll the window. We know that every time you say you're going to be with your friend Carlos, you come to this home. Oh, yep. Come on, honey. Just let's talk, okay? I don't want to fight. Let's two minutes, okay? Let him, let it, he's going to, he's, let, let me do what it, he's going to, watch, watch. Be careful. Will you give her two minutes? Oh, he got her purse. He had to come back. He got his purse. He had to come back. Coming up next, the conclusion. You got him, he stopped. Where? He in the car, he in the car. See, I told you he was gonna do more now. He's got Where's the purse. Okay, what's happening? We're on the way, we're headed out there now. Is that him right there? Man, is that you behind He's us? right in front yeah, of us. Yeah, right there. He's right there. He, he stopped. He's on the phone right now. Get him, get him, get him. Right there. It's the phone right here on the right. Get him, get him. Get him. Uh-uh. You better tell me. Sweetie. <clears throat> Look, sweetie, listen to me. That's not worth it. Okay. It's not worth hurting yourself. All right. Come on. Come on. Come yeah. On. Come on. Come on, you guys. He going. He went action. Go ahead. <laughs> he he went. He he's going to see her. He's gonna get her. He's gonna get her. They're going out. You know, in your heart, that you did what you needed to do. Okay. I know it doesn't feel like it now. But you did well. What direction are you going to go from here? Continue living my life with my daughter and keep on moving. You can get closure and move on. Exactly. That's him. That's him. You want me to act? Yeah. Hello? What do you mean why I do that? You need you need to be a man and, and tell me the truth. Are you okay? Do you have an explanation why you be with her? Yeah, it's been safe to go out. And you were living with her, right? While I was in Puerto Rico. I wasn't kidding, she's just a good friend. A homegirl. Don't lie to me. Be a hey, man. Be mature where, and be a man. Where's that guy? Where's that guy at? What guy? Can we talk to the guy? What guy? Does Michelle know you did this too? She said, do you want this exclusive or not? Do you want a high rating or not? We'll certainly give you that opportunity. All right, hold on a second. I'll give you a call in about 15 minutes, all right? Okay. Bye. That's him, you want to put a speaker? Talk to the cheetah, Hello? Hello? Hey, where's that mom? Yeah. Don't talk like that. You guys know where I'm at. If you see the progress, come on. If you want that exclusive, come on. You know where I'm at. Why wouldn't you want to have a conversation with us when we were out at the place? Yeah, you were holding hands and you were in her apartment. Hey, whatever. If you're stupid enough to be on TV, that's you, stupid. He hung up. He hung up. You know, he, he hasn't been truthful with you, and you know that now. Yeah. Do you feel that way? I feel, yeah. That's the way I feel. Exactly. We'll have a detective follow you home. Okay. Uh, and then also have someone stay close by your house, at your house. Okay. And just, just to make sure and be on the safe side. Okay. Okay. Let me walk you out. Okay. We'll get you with Detective Gomez. Okay. And we'll get you home. After the confrontation, Minerva expresses conflicting emotions with relief in the forefront. Coming up shortly, Cheaters explains what she plans to do with her life. But next, Cheaters presents Douglas Williams, a straightforward gentleman who has a thing or two to say about his involvement in the Merrill Gunn case. 
Douglas comes to Cheaters to give his interpretation of what transpired. Douglas Williams, age 24. Douglas visits with Cheaters to divulge some important information concerning his role in the Merrill Gunn case. When the crew first came around, it was me and Bianca. we were sitting in movies and we were watching a movie and we were just, you know, enjoying the night and, you know, what, what people do. And then all of a sudden, this big camera crew comes in with cameras and, you know, big flashy lights and things like that. I didn't, you know, really know how to react to that because I've never experienced anything like that before. Merle, she, you know, she's a good person, but she's, you know, crazy. Anybody who would do this deliberately on TV for, you know, just because her own psychotic, uh, um, purposes, she, um, it, it's not cool. Yeah, she don't mean that to me. She's just trying to embarrass me. That's all she's trying to do. You said she camera me? I don't think I so. Know, you said it's not cool, but... Me and Bianca, we also broke up a little bit after the show. It just... She, you know, felt like she couldn't trust me, but it wasn't... It wasn't my fault because me and Merle had an understand, understood relationship where, you know, we could... We were just seeing each other. We weren't, you know, in a full-on relationship. Here. Well, she wasn't trying to satisfy me the right way that I'm supposed to be satisfied. Let me get the mini me over there, Ken. She can satisfy you, right? Doug. But well, she been doing it. If you do have issues sexually. No, I don't have no sexual you don't. issues. No, she's oh, so it's her fault. The, no, she's crazy in the it's head. Her, oh, it's crazy her. in yes. the head? Because she imagined yes. all this, right? Yeah, you can just come back, bitch. What's up? This is not, that's not cool, that's not mom. Well, that's not you problems? No. That stuff that she pulled out, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't know what she was trying to do with that. I guess she was trying to expose her own freaky secrets or something like that because um, I've never seen that before. Two dogs belong together, you got a dog and a bitch. Go on. I don't give a damn, I guess I'll find some Good. Yo. You go ahead. You go right on ahead. Peace. What? No, we wasn't together. That's what she's saying. You don't understand. For future reference, I'll um, I'll make sure that the other person that that thinks that I'm with them, I'll I'll let them know that it's you know over. Because if you know the person doesn't know that it's over, then it it ruins everything. She should have known that it was over. I gave her hint after hint, but you know some people just don't get it, you know? For more information on these and other cases, log on to Cheaters.com. Subsequent to the confrontation, Minerva Fernandez decided that she'd no longer stay involved with the suspect. She says that her family is her only support system and appreciates everything they do for her. Minerva is ready to move on, whether it involves a man or not. She claims that she's sick and tired of being good to people who do not give back to her. She says this whole experience taught her about the true meaning of love. Minerva knows now that she was just being used and the suspect does not, and never did, love her. The suspect was contacted by cheaters and willingly offered his side of the story. Despite all the damning surveillance footage, he maintains his innocence and says that at the time, he never had a thought of having intimate relations with a female companion. The suspect declares that he has no regrets and doesn't feel a need to apologize to Minerva. He says that she's a strong woman and will, with time, ultimately figure out her lot in life. Even after offering his comments, the suspect still refused to allow his likeness to be aired. The companion in the case would not comment and declined to sign a waiver for her image to be broadcast.